Oh my goodness, it's something nostalgic to me. Hey guys, this is me again, and I'm back for another review, but this time it's not Jurassic World or anything. It's just something random, but it's also something that I really thought it'd be really great for me to get once again. This is uh, this is basically a long time coming. This is the U.S. Coast Guard Rescue Team boat. This is something that I had in my childhood for a long time, even though I had a blue variant. Well, the orange part was blue in the original version that I bought that came with this guy here. Yes, now I get now I got real freaking nostalgic feelings towards it. So I'm just going to leave that shark here for one second. So this is basically the reason why I got this set. Now I feel like a kid again. <laughs> the packaging itself states some stuff like the U.S. Coast Guard 1790. Uh, U.S. Coast Guard Rescue Team logo, and it does have this uh, banner going through. Joking hazard here, this whole entire set that reveals the uh, window, the box of these uh, certain characters and boat that you can get. And I guess on side to side, it shows the U.S. Coast Guard logo again. Let's see the other side. Yep, same side. So, here's the back. Now, the back shows... Uh, the boat in action with a bio here, which you can uh, pause to read that. Hold on a second. There you go. And over here, 33 quarter inch posable Coast Guard figure, which it does include. Up here, you got the logo again, but it also not only shows the banner fading down, which is pretty cool, it also shows another helicopter. And there is a hel. Oh, wait, you know, that reminds me of a. Helicopter that was in a one James Bond movie that I used to watch a lot and I still watch it this day. Honestly though, seeing this right here, it looks pretty cool. I really do like how this works. It does have the, uh, like, it brings me back when I had this boat. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to open this thing up. Alright, so here's the Coast Guard boat out the package and it took a while and to get everything in place. There are some things that look a little bent by this point, but that's how they were in the package. And before I take a look at this, let's go ahead and move these figures out the way. And this. Let's focus on this boat, because my goodness, I love this boat. This boat is wrapped up with so much things in it. It's got this, I guess you might call it a fire hose or water hose at this point for here. You got an anchor that it does work, but the wire is short. Got these two things that hang out. Not sure what they are. I, I'm i not a big expert on these. And they are supposed to hang out on this thing. And if I literally just take them off, it probably wouldn't be working well. But it doesn't really matter. We got these two things here that can uh, attach to this, which that's where they go. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on in this thing. And there's also this big thing. But I think the last time I had this, this thing was also removable. Mainly because I had to unscrew it and then take it apart. I mean... I think that's how I'm gonna do it at this point because if I'm gonna have to have more characters fit in the back, these two pieces might be removed. Actually, this piece mainly, but that doesn't really matter. That's not the size of the point. It does look pretty cool with all the detail it has. Move from the back. This is how this looks. It also got this part here. Honestly, I really had so much fun with this darn toy as a kid, and getting it back, it just feels like nostalgia. There's this crane here. It does get a little loose when it turns, but it does go up and down as well, which is going to take a little bit of a push. There we go. It goes like that. It goes back up with a click. And it does have a working winch. And nothing on the uh, no uh, Coast Guard tattoo on the thing right here, but yet again, you get the deal. Also got some uh, microphones here. I wonder if there's supposed to be a searchlight here. Oh, there we go. It rotates there. You also got the you got the logo again, which is a sticker. And there's another I guess this is another searchlight part right here. This also has a lot of turning. Yeah, this has a lot of uh, motion and everything. It can turn and stuff. You got these here, which are antennas, I guess. They're bent because they've been in the package, they've been warped, I guess. Honestly, this is just so dang cool. I honestly like the orange on here. Like, uh, 
yeah, I do prefer the blue one more, which is an older variant. But yeah, I'm gonna go with orange here. And get into the detailing inside that stu inside that room. Might be going a little dark. And there is detailing there. That this can fit only one person in it. They wanted to drive the boat, which is usual. Let's turn it over again. And there you go. This boat is pretty cool. I pretty much loved this boat so much as a kid. And I know I said that like about a thousand times at this point. But it's true. I had it as a kid and I really loved it. Especially when I had it right up beside this darn great white shark as a kid. And now since they re-released this, you can also uh, find the Animal Planet shark. Which is just like this one. But you can actually find it at Target stores. Which is, to my surprise, they started selling these stores up there. So at Target, you can also get uh, Dino Valley and uh, Animal Planet stuff. Like, you can start finding those up there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the two figures it comes with. So here is a Coast Guard uh, figure. And he's compact with a pistol and a flashlight as well. Which is can be attached to all the uh, holsters it comes with. He's also got a um, sculpted in. Okay, I'm not sure if it's sculpted in, but it's also a separate piece. Kind of walkie-talkie. Hold on a second. Yeah, it's a separate piece. It's just really tough to see it. He's also sporting some other stuff. Like, this right here, I have no idea what it is. But it definitely does. Uh, it is a separate uh, piece that is attached and glued to here. It's got another walkie-talkie here, which goes, obviously, on here. It's also kind of packed with this orange vest here. He's got these glasses he's painted, uh, painted with. And I guess they aren't painted in as well. They look like they've been airbrushed, I guess. They look pretty cool, but yeah. Nothing much about that lightness, it's just generic and it um, looks honestly like anybody who could play him. But he does sports a really cool outfit and everything. There's his pants and detail and the shoes right there. Not painted in, just uh, basic figures. And it's also got two screws at the back, so you wanted to replace and detach uh, different body parts with other figures that would probably work. And yeah, that's basically it for him. He looks pretty cool. So yeah, and he does come with a flashlight and pistol, and I thought the flashlight and pistol, but the pistol was a surprise me because I really never expected it comes with a pistol. And this is the same one that's also been used in True Hero figures that I've been buying, and the flashlight is something new that I've never really seen yet, so it is a plus to get another flashlight. And the second figure he comes with is this little kid here, who also sports a, uh, well, two caskets, a leg casket and an arm casket. They can, they can be removable too, like, at this point. Like, there it is. Also, the kid sports a swivel arm here, so wouldn't sport too much dang uh, posability difficulties. So, that's pretty nice. Also, got a cool shirt, I will say. Although, the paint on there is, like, off on this uh, figure's sleeves. Like, could have been the same color, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. And, uh, hold on. Is that articulated legs? Hold on a second. Oh wait, no, never mind, that's not articulated legs. It's just that it comes with additional detail they put on the figure, but it's just that they were lazy to not really finish painting them. Like, they don't even paint the socks in either. So it's kind of weird. Anyway, um, yeah, and the, like I said, the light casket, which is all this stuff here, which are also detailed really incredibly as well. Like he's got, you can see the detailing on there. Like, the caskets can be removed. And, yeah, this little kick figure looks pretty cool so yeah also first little kit figure that I actually bought and the last thing we'll go over is this uh, accessories pack which is like every other uh, I guess chat may figure I'm not really sure what company it is at this point there's so many different companies taking these toys is like the same kind of uh, weapon detail like I bought two heroes figures from Toys R Us for like a long time ago and I know they're on a different name so you can buy them in different names like US Navy and something like that so, this is basically a similar thing almost every uh, Chap May slash Animal Planet figure would do. Yeah, I'm going by various different names because that's how it is. So, it just comes with all these utensils. It looks like medical utensils and that's basically what they are. So, yeah. Be willing to keep this. I haven't shown this in the review, but right now this is after the review. So, right now, here's the crane working and I just couldn't resist. I feel like a kid again. See, it works. This is something that I really enjoyed. Yep, I, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Alright, so that's going to end this review off. And yes, I have the shark once again right next to it because that's how my childhood works. I really did 
had fun with this as a kid and I'm so glad to have it again and under a different paint job. I'm glad they re-released this because I thought they would never re-release this uh, figure set again, but thank god they did. That's basically it for this review of the US Coast Guard boat. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll be seeing you guys later.